Welcome back to Vintage HLC Show and Tell. This is the first of two videos on Homer Lachlan's Kitchen Craft. Now, Kitchen Craft was a line of kitchenware that was developed in April of 1937 and released just a few months later. So we'll start by looking at a trade advertisement from July 1937, and it says presenting the new Kitchen Craft Oven Serve. And we see some pieces here with the tulip decoration. And it says Kitchen Craft Oven Serve is distinguished by the same sturdiness, durability, and utility which mark the regular oven serve line. Now, we'll look at a back stamp real quick because I want to talk about embossed oven serve versus kitchen craft. So here's your marking. Kitchen craft and we see the oven serve name. We looked at oven serve, the embossed version. Previously we've also looked at royal oven serve. And now here we are in 1937 and we have this plain streamlined round bulbous shape. But the difference between kitchen craft and oven serve is that kitchen craft was meant to stay in the kitchen. This is not where that was meant to go from the refrigerator to the oven to the table. So you've got these canisters, these uh, ball jars if you will, these covered jugs, coffee pots which were added later in the 1950s. Uh, we're going to look at more pieces in the next video particularly the uh, casseroles, which would be the exception as well, the pie plates. Now those could go from the oven to the table, but the other pieces generally were meant to just stay put in the kitchen. Another difference between kitchen craft and oven serve is you have these clean surfaces. And we saw this with the embossed line where you have all this different rose and poppy embossing going on that would interfere with the cow treatments. They just really didn't go together. But now, in 1937, we have these very clean shapes, so we can put these very large decal treatments on them, and they work very well together. We have a good shape decal combination going on. And another thing, these pieces, I've said this already, but they are very large. So if you're going to collect this line, if you don't already, you better be prepared to sacrifice some shelf space. Because these jars and these jugs and these coffee pots, they're so bulbous and round. Uh, they just take up too much room. That's why we're doing two parts, because I just don't have enough room to put everything out that I want to show. So we're going to look at uh, these pieces today, the, the jars, the coffee pots, the covered jugs, as well as the salt and pepper shakers. And then all the other pieces we'll do in an, uh, another video. So a year later, in April 1938, they take the kitchen craft shapes and do them in Fiesta glazes and they are offered in green, yellow, blue, and red. So we'll look at a little brochure here, Fiesta Kitchen Craft. We open it up, we see the standard assortment. We have the covered jars, the covered jug, the mixing bowls, the utensils which are essentially borrowed from embossed oven serve. The cake lifter is, the spoon is shortened to a, a smaller version, and then we have a fork that is brand new. But they all have that embossing that comes from oven serve, and we'll look at those in the next video casserole, refrigerator stack set, pie plate, cake plate, shakers, and then underplates. I do want to mention about those underplates. Kitchen Craft has their own plain round version, but for Fiesta Kitchen Craft they use Fiesta plates, the 6 inch and 9 inch plates. And there's your prices. This is dated January 1st, 1938. And the trade advertisement for Kitchen Craft shows the Fiesta plate that's being used um, as an underplate for the casserole. Another advertisement, this comes from May 1938, a trade publication, let's see which one it is. It is Pottery, Glass, and Brass Salesman. And they're talking about the Mexicana uh, treatment that was developed for Century. This is C228. Uh, they're saying that it was, uh, let's see what it says. First exhibited last July, so that would be July 1937. And we see the same treatment being used on Kitchen Craft. So this is one of those decals that just really wouldn't work on embossed oven serve. You know, again, you have that interference between the embossing and the uh, decal treatments. So we'll put these away and look at some of the different decals used on Kitchen Craft. We'll start with the large covered jars. We have Wild Rose, which was also used on Yellowstone and Virginia Rose. A nice tulip pattern that you really don't find on Homer Lachlan dinnerware you're more likely to find this on Hall China. Starflower, which was made originally for uh, eggshell nautilus, 
Here we see it on Kitchen Craft with its green trim. Pueblo, which is a very uh, popular decal treatment. Let's see if we can get a better look at that decal. Look at the reverse. It should be different on the reverse. And all of these are going to have that same Kitchen Craft oven serve marking. I should say most of them, because by the time you get to the late 1950s, they start using a general home or Lachlan mark instead of Kitchen Craft. This one's called China Lady. It's treatment number KK335. This is Dollhouse, which was developed for Swing Eggshell. You kind of have to look at the bottom to see the Dollhouse. There it is. And then there's scattered sprigs throughout. And Pettit Point Rose. This one is KK311. This decal was developed for Coronet. It was used on Virginia Rose and a host of other shapes. And then we have the medium jars. This one Huxford's called in their book Shaggy Flower. This was one of the Harmony decals meant for the combination sets of Fiesta and Nautilus. This one is KK306. Tulip, we saw this in the uh, advertisement the debut advertisement from 1937. This is KK303. You will find every piece of uh, kitchen craft as well as some royal metal pieces or royal oven serve pieces with this decal. It's pretty popular and pretty common. There's also a blue trim version. And then we have Deco Fruit. I don't know its treatment number but it, it's pretty popular. We'll see the difference. Well it's the same sprig. I thought it might be different. Look at the lid. It has a different decal. It's got the pear. And then Spring Wreath. One of the most uh, common decals used on Kitchen Craft. This was used on a whole bunch of shapes. Liberty, Virginia Rose, Republic. We see our Kitchen Craft sticker. Guaranteed Kitchen Craft Oven Serve USA. And then we'll look at the smallest size. Again, there's your tulip. Tulip is mainly found on Kitchen Craft, although, and I have a piece to show, it can be found on Georgian eggshell, although without any trim. Uh, this piece is dated 1948. And there's your deco fruit again on the small size jar. Next we have the covered jugs. This one with the blue flower is KK301. There's your lid detail. The lids were discontinued probably in the 1940s because if you find any of these jugs from the 50s like Rhythm Rose or even Priscilla, they're going to be open jugs. So your earlier ones will probably have lids. We see Petapoint Point Rose again, covered jug. And then here's an open jug. Same size, it's just doesn't have a lid. This is Priscilla. Should have a Household Institute stamp. There we go. Household Institute Priscilla Ovenware. There's a corresponding line of dinnerware. We'll look at Priscilla more in a future video. And here's one with a, a nice decal, Mums, with this pink uh, spray trim going on. Kitchen Craft Oven Serve. Teapots or coffee pots were added in 1951. So all the other oven serve, I'm sorry, kitchen craft uh, pieces were made by Frederick Reed. This one would have been done while Don Schreckengoss was art director at Homer Lachlan. And we see two different forms of Virginia, um, not Virginia Rose, Rhythm Rose. Very common decal. Used by a lot of different potteries. And we see something similar to the Priscilla Household Institute. Rhythm Rose in the middle. You probably can't make it out too well though. And there's the three sprig version versus the one large sprig. Tulip again. This pattern was in that 1937 trade journal and here it is all the way into 1951. And we have a couple more decaled uh, coffee pots. 
Then we'll look at a couple shakers. Now it's interesting when these were being developed for kitchen craft. There are notes where Frederick Reed says, take the oven serve shakers, remove the embossing and handles. So I've never been able to find any of this style shaker with embossing on it, the rose and poppy embossing with handles. So I imagine there must be some prototypes out there somewhere, uh, but it's something to look for. So we have the salt and pepper shakers, Mexicana with blue trim. There's our deco fruit. And rose and poppy for Colgate. I've said this before, we'll look at rose and poppy, this particular decal treatment in the future, because it was used on so many different shapes for a very long time. Now one more thing about Kitchen Craft, that it was made into the 1960s. However, by the time you get to the 1960s, you're dealing with a very utilitarian uh, assortment. So you've got your mixing bowls, you've got a pie plate. Uh, that's going to be about it. Maybe the open jug. Everything else, like these shakers and the ball jars and the coffee pots, they're pretty much discontinued. So we have a piece here. This is KK308, very long-running treatment. And we have a general Homer Lachlan back stamp. By this time, they are no longer using the Kitchen Craft oven serve marking. And this is dated 1967. So this is 30 years after its introduction. So this was a long-running line, but as I said, uh, by the time you get to this time period of 1967, most of the, your other pieces are discontinued. Also, the glaze changes. Your later pieces, like this one from 67, has more of a white glaze as opposed to this light yellow. So that's it for now. In the next video, we'll continue with Kitchen Craft and look at the casseroles and the pie plate and all the other pieces.